Now, as we learn more information about the shooting, experts are encouraging parents to have a conversation with their kids about the topic. Dr. Carrie Harrell is a psychologist and coordinator of the youth division at Menninger and joins us now. Thank you so much for coming in today. I was struggling th with this with my own kids yesterday. I didn't know if they knew about mm -hmm. it, and then I didn't want to bring it up, you know, just to scare yes. them. So mm -hmm. how do you start that conversation? I think it's important to do just that, to start the conversation. When they're are things happen in the the country kids are incredibly perceptive they're also really perceptive to their parents feelings and when kids are feeling anxiety oftentimes one of the best things to alleviate it is talking about it and giving them space to process and then on the other hand I have older children mm -hmm. than Sally so I have older teenagers who mm -hmm. already knew the news they got the pop-up messages on their yes. phone they were reading about it before they ever got home instantly started asking me questions yes. about it so we really need to think about this conversation too differently with older kids versus yes. smaller ones and and how do you do that obviously I would think with the younger ones we have to be more gentle yes yeah, so for younger kids they really don't need to know details of what happened stick to something simple like something happened where some kids got hurt and then allow space for them to talk about the feelings that might come up from that like the fear the anxiety and then use that as an opportunity to provide them comfort comfort from a parent mm -hmm. even physical affection is one of the best ways to help them feel safe mm -hmm. and then what about for teenagers yeah. who might know a lot who may have watched all six minutes of the body cam video that mm. was released yesterday that was intense yes teenagers are also at a developmental period where they want to take action where they want to get involved and oftentimes teenagers are most likely to respond in these moments with anger and frustration and want to do something first of all that anger might be overlying some fear so also still taking that moment these are still kids to offer that comfort and then also to as a family think well what can we do to make a positive impact because that again helps them feel like there are adults who care and that are trying to help things look different mm -hmm. and we want our kids to be able to leave home in the morning kiss us hug us goodbye yes and not think about anything but studying. So how do we go about talking to them to ease any stress or any fears that they may have? What are some of those right words to say to really mm -hmm. make them feel better besides, like you said, the, the hugs or whatever it takes? Importantly, listen first. Ask them what they've heard and gently correct any misperceptions or misinformation mm -hmm. that they've had. Also, provide them with information about the people who actually rushed in to help. That is oftentimes mm -hmm. a piece that gets missed from this is that there are people trying to help. Mm -hmm. And then also help focus on safety and security, what you're doing as a family, even within their own schools, to make sure that they're safe. And those officers were heroes. I yes. mean, if you watch that body cam video, you are like, you know, give them the highest honors that Absolutely. they deserve mm -hmm. for what they did, you yes. know, running toward the violence there. Uh, it's happening way too often, and yes. a lot of times we do become numb when we hear about mm -hmm. this, and we feel like maybe we're not reacting in the appropriate way anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you deal with that? I think ultimately trying not to stay numb to it because kid, especially this generation, these kids are growing up seeing this regularly. Mm -hmm. And so helping them attend to it and say, this is scary. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? How can we help you to process those emotions? Again, like I said, leaning into processing and talking about the fear and the feelings that might come up for kids is one of the best things that we can do. Well, you do so much to help you with mental health through Menninger Clinic. Thank you for your time this morning yeah, and absolutely. walking us through this. Mm -hmm. and, and even parents who've been around, you know, over and over year after year, we still need some guidance of how yes. to do this right. Yeah. Thank you for that. Of course. Thank you.